waves just can't reach them with enough energy, and surgery becomes prohibitively risky or invasive. The one centimeter soft robot is designed to reach these anatomical dead ends. So the magnetic guidance system is solving the access problem. And the enzyme strips are solving the fragmentation problem. That is a very significant clinical niche. Yeah. Now, what did the initial, what were they? Phantom tests, what did they actually demonstrate? The initial results were highly promising. And yes, they were phantom tests. So researchers were operating in very controlled environments. They used realistic synthetic models of the urinary tract, artificial stones, even artificial urine flow. And what did they see? They demonstrated a rapid measurable dissolution rate once the alkaline payload was delivered precisely to the stone surface. And crucially, they measured the resulting fragments. And what was the key finding there with the fragments? The dissolution process resulted in fragments small enough to achieve natural passage within a matter of days. Days. Yes. And that is the ultimate patient benefit. When a stone passes naturally after lithotripsy, it can sometimes be a painful weeks-long ordeal. So by chemically shrinking it so quickly. You minimize tissue trauma and pain dramatically. If we look at the human element here, ah. minimizing pain and accelerating recovery from weeks to days, that's truly revolutionary for that challenging patient group. It moves the treatment closer to a high-precision, low-impact intervention. That's the goal. Okay, so we have a scientifically sound, effective mechanism demonstrated in the lab. But as we know, the journey from a published study to widespread patient care is... Well, it's a minefield. It is. Once this news went public, we saw a lot of chatter. Let's talk about that gap between the lab promise and the regulatory reality. Absolutely. The public reaction split neatly into two predictable poles. Okay. On the side of optimism, people immediately looked beyond kidney stones. The most common speculation was using this system for artery unclogging. Of course. That's the next logical leap. It is logical. The thinking is, if you can navigate a soft magnetic bot through the urinary tract, Maybe you can navigate the vascular system to treat plex chemically. Deliver a drug right to the blockage without needing sense. Exactly. That shows the scalability of the idea. Moving the focus from the cargo, the enzyme, to the delivery system itself, the robot. Right. But what about the other side? The skepticism and caution we saw online. Safety. Above all else, whenever you introduce a one centimeter magnetic object into the body, the immediate questions are, What's the risk of an error in navigation? What happens if you get stuck? Exactly. Can the external magnetic field inadvertently affect other internal devices or tissues? Mm -hmm. And critically, what's the long-term biocompatibility of the soft material itself? And some commentators went further, right? Yeah. They labeled the news as marketing hype. They did. This raises a really critical question for you, the listener, who is trying to understand new medical tech. What does 